Ryan, kicking it off with you. Markets are higher this morning. And we just heard from Walmart as well as Home Depot. We had a double beat at Walmart. The company's raising its full year and second quarter guidance. Home Depot and Macy's also posted better than expected results. That's where the buying is happening largely this morning uh, in retail. Your thoughts on uh, the space, what it tells us about the broader economy, and would you step in and buy these stocks here? Well, I think first off, it's just indicative of the fact that Americans love to spend and obviously those stimulus checks are being put to good use in the U.S. economy. And I think what's interesting is actually when you mentioned Macy's, they had their same source sales, sales were up 63 uh, percent over the, you know, the past quarter, which is phenomenal. And what that says to me, Maria, is people are going out again. You know, people are actually going into stores again. And I think that's indicative of the fact that, you know, things are starting to normalize. Um, I think the biggest, if you look at the biggest news we had last week, it was really the CDC coming out and saying that, you know, you don't have to wear a mask if you're vaccinated inside or outside. And I can tell you, just being here in New York City, we literally went from like last Monday, it was cloudy, it was rainy here, everyone had a mask on. By the weekend, if you were in Central Park, you just saw a sea of people, sun shining, masks are off, people just have all this pent up demand to do things. So I think that's going to be very, very good for the retailers moving forward. Um, and I also think that it also is indicative of the fact that we are just like ready to go out, spend money, live life again. And that's why you're seeing that reflected in the numbers. And that's why Walmart actually raised their guidance for the rest of the year. So I think all these things are coming to fruition. It's coming in a big way. And I talk about this in my podcasts a lot. I go into depth about this. But I think what you have to start thinking about with a lot of you know, the uh, different uh, parts of the market right now, the biggest disruptor right now is going to be real life. So if you're a tech company right now or you're Netflix, it's going to be competing with going to ball games again, being outside again, going to the park, all those things that we've been craving to do, it's here.